Hi, everybody. I'm Rebecca at the Dry Eye Shop. And today we're going to talk about multi-dose preservative-free bottles, which we call MDPF bottles. I'm going to put them in the context of the different types of eye drop packaging available. Then I'm going to run through each of the four different types of MDPF bottles and what they're like. Then I want to share a new resource in the Dry Eye Shop's knowledge base where you can easily figure out which drops are available which way. So as you probably know, there are three categories of eye drop packaging. First of all, there's standard eye drop bottles. I had to go out and buy some for this because we don't stock them at the dry eye shop. And the reason we don't stock them is because they all contain preservatives, which we try to avoid here. Don't get me wrong though, preservatives are not bad things. They have an essential role to play killing bacteria in eye drops. But for those of us with dry eye, they can be irritating and some of us develop sensitivities. And the harshest preservatives, which unfortunately are also the cheapest for manufacturers, are known to cause or exacerbate dry eye. So we do try to avoid them. Second type of packaging is single-use preservative-free vials. These vials don't have to have preservatives because they get thrown away before bacteria have time to grow. If you're keeping an open recapped vial, we know you do. If you keep them around day after day though, I'm just gonna say that's a bad idea. If you wanna recap a vial, fine, most people do. Just don't keep it around past the end of the day. It's better to use preserved drops in a bottle, arguably, than to misuse preservative-free drops from a safety standpoint. Third type of packaging is multi-dose preservative-free bottles, which is our focus today. So these are bottles that have one form or another of a special technology to prevent backwash, as in keep the bottle from sucking unwanted things like bacteria back in when you let go after squeezing. Droppers on eye drop bottles get contaminated, period. It's just a reality. There's no way to effectively prevent it. So the tip gets contaminated. You squeeze out a drop as the bottle sucks back in while, while you're letting go. It sucks other stuff in with it. And these bottles are designed to prevent that. I am a big fan of MDPF bottles. They produce less waste. I think they're easier to use personally than the individual vials. I think they're also more economical. And I think that some people who can't afford the preservative-free vials can actually still afford preservative-free drops by getting some of the less expensive MDPF bottles that can be stretched out quite a ways. And when I talk about using them correctly, I mean squeezing out only a small amount because one of the best kept secrets of eye drops is you don't actually need a drop. Your eye surface can only hold about a third of a drop. Everything else is feel good factor and just drains out. So today I want to walk you through all the different types of MDPF bottles and show you which brands of eye drops use which type of bottle. We're gonna start with the Novelia bottle. All right, this is the Novelia bottle. It's used by several brands, Fresh Coat, Optase, Sustain, Oasis. Oasis, I think, was the earliest one to do this. It generally works very well. I'll get into how it works in a minute. Um, one thing I do find annoying about this bottle is it's hard to tell whether it's been opened. Um, actually, let me just stop that for a moment, just to show you. I mean, can you tell by looking at this whether it's been opened or not, this one. I mean, a, here's one that I know is brand new, has not been opened, and this one has been opened. It's just really hard to tell them apart. And since you need to use these up within 90 days of opening, it's probably a good idea to just use a, a Sharpie on them. All right, second type is the Aptar bottle. This one is used by Refresh Reliva, which is not in the picture because it's on back order at the manufacturer. It's also used by Optase MGD in the pink cap and Iganics, that's the one in the blue cap and BioTrue Hydration. It's pretty much just like the Novelia bottle, um, superficially at least, except, uh, let me stop sure again, on the Aptar, there's, a little tear off 
thing. So you know when it's been opened. So that's a seal you take off before you can use it. And also the Avatar bottle's cap is just a push on. It does not screw on. Personally, I'm not a fan of that. Even though I use plenty of drops with the Avatar bottle, I just prefer screw on caps because I feel like I'm less likely to lose them. Now, in terms of using them, the Avatar and the Novelia bottles are very, very similar. Hold on a sec. They look mostly the same. The um, one's white, obviously, and one's got the blue dot. They work the same way. You got to prime them a little and then you get drop, drop, drop. The most important thing with this kind of bottle is be gentle, be patient. Don't squeeze too hard or too much or you'll have a mess. So they're not quite as simple as conventional bottles, but that's the price you pay for being preservative free and more environmentally friendly than vials. Um, one last thing to remember about these types of bottles, um, and some of them are clear so you can see how much is left. And then there's the white ones where you can't, but if you rattle it, you can hear it. They're never going to be completely empty. There will always be some left. And I know for people who are new to this, it just makes them feel cheated, right? But the fact is that's a necessary part of the design. And they're designed to have 10 full milliliters available. So when you're done being able to get some out of it, you should have actually used up the 10 mils, even though there's plenty left in there that you can't get at. All right, the third type of bottle is the commode bottle. So we're gonna look at the third and fourth here. So the one on the left here, the Optase Hydro Relief, that's the commode bottle. This is used for dozens of eye drops in Europe. They've been using preservative free bottles a lot longer than we have, so they're more used to them. There's only one drop in the US currently made with this bottle. That's the one you're looking at, Octase Hilo Relief from Scope. There used to be one from Ocusoft called Retain HPMC, which was basically like Refresh Plus, but in a bottle. And that was a really handy one. It's a bummer that they stopped. Anyway, the strong point of this bottle is the pump mechanism, which I'll show in a minute here. This bottle truly does deliver a single drop at a time, period. Um, most other types, if you squeeze hard enough, you can get a stream out of it. So this is a good one for avoiding waste. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna go back to here. I'll just go ahead and show that. So with the pump thing, you just, you're turning it upside down and squeezing out. Personally, I actually find that pump stiff and I have no problems with my hands, but I talk to a lot of people with arthritis who have difficulty with bottles. I'm not sure this is gonna be the most friendly one for them. All right, let's look at the ABAC bottle now. So ABAC on the right, a lot of people are familiar with this now, even though it's quite new. I think the Evisia drops have been advertised quite widely. So that's another MDPF bottle, different kind of mechanism in the top. And the pointy thing at the top is just a little taller than the little blue thing on the, the Aptar and the, or the Novelia ones. Um, a lot of people know, this is actually one of my favorites. A thing that I like about the Evisia bottle is, even though it contains the same amount, the 10 mils, it's a lot bigger of a bottle, which means the sides are pretty soft to squeeze. Um, and come to think of it, I think I'm just gonna go around and compare squeezability. I know for some people that's a really big deal. I mean, I find this one fairly soft. Let's see, Fresh Coats, pretty squeezable. Optase MGD, pretty squeezable. BioTrue, very soft, feels like it. To me, Oasis actually feels harder than some of the others. Um, I don't know if that's just my imagination. It looks like the exact same bottle type as like Fresh Coat, but it just feels a little harder to squeeze. All right, what did I miss here? Um, anything about the ABAC I wanted to mention? No, I think we got it all. So those are the four different types of MDPF bottles. We've got Novelia, we've got 
aptar, we've got commode, and we've got abet. Last, I just want to show you a new resource that we have at the shop in our help desk. All right, so if you go to dryeyeshop.com and then go to the help menu, whoops, and then tap knowledge base, scroll down a little bit to the lubricant eye drops, gels, and ointments section, and then eye drop packaging types. On this page, if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see the same pictures I just showed with the different packaging types, different bottle types and all that. But the table up here will tell you what's available for each brand. I tried to get all the major brands. If you see anything I missed, let me know and I'll add them in. So it'll tell you which ones are available preserved in the regular multi-dose bottle, which ones are in vials and which ones are in an MDPF bottle and if so, which type. Lots of things are only available one way. Some things are available two or more. Uh, just a couple are available in three, you know, all three packages. So Oasis Tears is available, preserved, preservative-free vials, preservative-free bottle, uh, Refresh Reliva, same thing, all three. And Sustain Ultra just recently came out in a preservative-free bottle as well. So they're available all three ways. All right. That is it today for MDPF bottles. See you next time.